So in the spirit of awareness, which is really my main focus as far as why I'm putting videos out there, why I'm putting my experience, uh, my strength and my hope out there for others to find, uh, I have set off on a little bit of a journey to become more aware myself. For some reason, I don't know why, but I thought that my, um, my story is unique and it is true and it also it's it's not the only story which I guess is is the main thing my story is is unique to me uh, as far as how psychogenic non-epileptic seizures presents it's not only how it presents in me there are so many different ways that it presents in other people. I've read so far um, of the variety of uh, precursors or um, we all kind of have the same triggers. It's stress, whether it's on the surface or it's latent stress or it is something that, that triggers uh, a past memory or it's stress. <laughs> that's basically it. It's stress. Um, and that's pretty much the main trigger. How it comes, the vehicle it comes in, it can vary. So how people are aware that they're about to have a seizure is varied. Uh, and actually, from my experience, it's varied just from the eight months since I started having these seizures nine months now um, in the beginning it was the pressure in my chest which was very you know very stress um, it's a common thing to feel pressure in your chest chest when you're stressed I mean, that's, that's why so many people think they're having heart attacks when they are just absolutely overwhelmed uh, the other thing is I would have a little tingling in my brain I don't know it's not electrical so I don't know what exactly that would be and later on it would just probably within two two months of that which was really the onset so that was the big time period um, where they were all the same every type of seizure was the same Now, I just have this feeling of having had too much coffee, <laughs> having had too much caffeine, not enough food. I guess that's stress also, although it's odd because it doesn't feel like it's triggered by anything except for time, because it seems to happen at the same time every day. And I have been successful at diffusing them every day since I say it's been a week and a half since I had my first one in four and a half months. So since then I had uh, what I would call afterquakes, and I want to say I had three, three afterquakes, three different days. And after that, since that, I have not had any seizures. I've had the um, precursors too. So I'm able to sense that. I'm very aware. I've had to really, you know, beef up my game and make sure that I'm, I'm doing exactly what I need to do so that I don't have to schedule my life around having these seizures. I can't. I, I don't... I have two kids. I have a life that I want to live and... I don't know how to live that life with seizures and so I'm going to do everything I can to not have to live with seizures. So I stay vigilant to uh, the rituals that I've built into my schedule. So besides the precursors, I found that the seizures themselves are varied. There are, of course, um, in epileptic seizures, there are a range of seizures as well. Uh, grand mal seizures are the largest and then you know they scale down. 
um, I don't know what they call a regular, you know, normal size seizure. The after, which is, I have an interesting reaction to. I haven't read anywhere, um, anyone's story where they have had the same experience where they feel trapped in their body and they feel a prisoner. I don't, I kind of wish that I would read something like that. All these people are affected by the same thing that I am and that feels good to be able to read, you know, the other people's hope. I really, really look forward to looking somebody's posting or somebody's story where they can relate to me because I don't want to be unique and I don't want to be special I, because I don't want to be alone so I'm going to keep putting my story out there there's a lot of different things that happen every day that I'm inspired to say or do or read or watch or I'm putting all these things together so that I can share with everybody um, so that's what I'm going to keep doing. I, I'm very, very hopeful and very encouraged by the increased awareness that is happening and I'm going to continue to educate myself more on not just my own experiences uh, and what is behind my personal experiences. I also want to learn about every person, every soldier, every warrior that has psychogenic non-epileptic non, non seizures. <laughs> because we are warriors. We are. We we're not unique. There are a lot of people who have to fight every day for their their life. Uh, and we are warriors. We are trudging through and we have a victory on the other side of this fight. So I'm very grateful that I get to share and I will see you soon.